a bigger screen, dual cameras, the S Pen, you probably already know all that stuff about the Galaxy Note 8 already, but dig a little bit deeper and there's lots of other cool things about the phone that you may not actually know about. At number one, make the most of the Note 8's huge 6.3 inch display by using apps in split screen. Of course, having two apps side by side isn't new, but it is made easier here on the Note 8 thanks to a new feature called App Pair. All you do is slide open the edge panel, tap on the plus icon to create a new app shortcut, and then create a new pair at the top right. Then select the two apps that will launch in split screen, so you can have Facebook and Spotify or your email and web browser. Pretty handy. Number two, the S Pen has loads of cool uses, with one of my favorites being screen off memo. So with the screen off, as you'd expect, pull out the S Pen and then start doodling or writing. If you fill up the screen, simply create a new page by tapping the plus icon at the bottom. And then when you're done, tap save in notes at the top right, or if you just leave it, it'll save automatically. And because it's basically in black and white mode, this won't use much of your battery. Number three, another great use of the S Pen is Smart Select, which can not only take screen grabs, either as a rectangle or using the lasso tool, so you can cut out any shape you like, but I only just found out that it can also make animated GIFs of anything playing on the screen. With the S Pen in hand, click on the pen icon and then tap Smart Select. Then choose Animation and select the area you want to record. That's it, then you can save or share it. Obviously the best use for this is so you can share your favorite tech chat video moments on Twitter or Instagram. Number four, while we're talking about the S Pen, did you know that if you click the button on the side of the pen, it actually turns it into an eraser so you can quickly rub out anything you've drawn? Number five, if you find the on-screen navigation bar with the home and back buttons annoying, you can turn it off by simply double tapping the dot on the left of the nav bar to hide it, and then simply swipe up from the bottom to bring it back up. Number six, did you know that you can use the fingerprint reader as a scroll wheel to open and close the notification bar? Turn on finger sensor gestures under advanced features in settings, and then swipe down on the reader to see your notifications. It's kind of a neat feature, but I think it works better on the smaller Galaxy S8 where it is easier to reach with your finger. Number seven, now I recommend this trick for all Android phones. You can speed up animation times and make the phone feel faster by going to the settings menu, about phone, software information, and then tap build number seven times to unlock the developer options. Then in the dev options, scroll down to window, transition, and animator scale, and turn them all down to 0.5 times to make all the animations faster. Number eight, the camera on the Note 8 is essentially the same as the Galaxy S8, except now there's a second lens that gives you a two times optical zoom. But the other big new camera feature is Live Focus, Samsung's version of portrait mode. This gives your photos a really nice depth of field bokeh effect and can be adjusted before and after the photo. Simply tap on the Live Focus effect above the shutter button to enable it. The Note 8 takes a live focus and a normal picture at the same time, so you can switch between them and choose your favorite. At number nine, in the camera app, which by the way, you can actually quickly access with a double press of the power button, tap the rectangular icon next to the flash to turn on full view. This expands the viewfinder to take up the whole screen, which might make it a little bit easier to compose your photos, although of course it does crop in a bit, so it's not showing you the full image. And finally, at number 10, no tips roundup would be complete without a mention of Bixby, Samsung's own voice assistant. You can activate it with a high Bixby or by pressing the button below the volume. As far as I know though, this does have the same features as Bixby on the Galaxy S8, but it is still pretty cool to use as an alternative or as well as Google Now. And I think Bixby Vision, which can identify and search what's actually in your photos online, has some great potential. So that's my top 10 tips and tricks for the Galaxy Note 8. I hope you found them useful. If there's anything that you found or that you want to add, let me know in the comments and also let me know what you make of the Note 8 generally. Thank you very much for watching guys. And if you enjoyed the video, click that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.